We use mathematical models uh, to describe what happens in the heart. The heart is a very important organ of our body. Cardiovascular diseases are responsible for more than 45% of deaths in Europe and 30% of deaths uh, in the world. We can personalize this type of description to specific patients and uh, we might be able one day to provide cardiosurgeons and cardiologists with a tool which is uh, powerful, quick and accurate and that could be used for personalizing the medicine. In particular, we want to describe the possibility of exchanging blood between the ventricle and the aortic root through the aortic valve. This is extremely important because in this way we will be able to describe the circulation of blood in the whole human circulatory system. So we describe the behavior of the aortic valve as being a three-dimensional object. We simulate the, the three leaflets of the aortic valve. This is the first time that uh, we have been able to describe such a complex mechanism with a very accurate mathematical model. Of course, this is only a part of the whole story because heart is a very important organ that uh, uh, functions because of the presence of uh, the electrical field. This triggers the contraction of the myocardium and this contracts the ventricle and, and therefore blood is ejected from the ventricle. So it is the uh, coexistence of all these fields, the electrical field, the mechanical field and the fluid dynamics field that make the heart functioning in this way. And this is why we want to use mathematical models to understand the whole functioning. Now we need to connect what's happening in the heart with what's happening in the rest of the circulatory system. We're working on that. Uh, we already have partial results and this is very important to be able to simulate other diseases such as carotid stenosis or abdominal aneurysms that are so important for the human beings.